YouTube channel Rubble Free. In this video, I'm going to explain you about interestingness of patterns in the subject of data mining. Before starting the video, if you have interest, like uh, I have started a new channel with study abroad content. If you have interest to watch that content, I'll give the link of the channel in the description. You can watch it. So let's get into the video. So basically, what do you mean by interestingness of patterns? And uh, how do you, you know, decide whether a pattern is interesting or not? All those things I'll explain in this video. Okay, basically in a data mining system every day some thousands, millions, lakhs, crores of data will be, uh, you know, generated. Okay, data patterns or data or whatever it is, is generated, right? So among all the data which is generated, what are actually really interesting to the user? Interesting is nothing but needed, used for the, useful for the user. For example, you're going to a supermarket, don't you know scold me for the supermarket example always you're going to the supermarket and or you're going to shopping or whatever it is in a shopping mall uh, you'll have lots and lots and lots of uh, things right suppose you're going to the Norbert mall in Norbert mall what do you have you have accessories you have footwear you have food you have a gaming section you have clothes you have western clothes you have traditional clothes you have uh, you know all what not you have everything inside the mall right you have tattoo section you have nail makeover you have um, you know makeup products uh, shops there are so many inside the in orbit mall in a not only in orbit for example at, i took in orbit mall so among all the stores which are inside the in orbit mall what stores are actually useful for you do you go to each and every store even if you don't want to if of course there are some people who do window shopping but you're you went there on an emergency you want something for tomorrow then in that case will you go for each and every shop no right whatever shop you want whatever shop is needed for you at that time you'll go to that shop you'll go to that store you'll buy and you'll come back so this is also the same so interestingness of patterns is nothing but among all the patterns you have among all the patterns which are generated by the data mining system all the patterns are not actually useful for us so what are useful for us those only have to be pick up picked up okay so that is what here among all the patterns generated how many are really interesting that's all okay so actually a small fraction of patterns generated would be really of interest to the given user yeah of course among millions of um, you know patterns uh, which are generated out of the system only for small fraction would be obviously useful so this raises three questions so we have to uh, you know answer three questions so if you are asked about this question in the exam you have to write what is interestingness of patterns you need to write these three questions and you have to write the answers for these three questions okay so what makes a pattern interesting is the first question can data mining system generate all of the interesting patterns is the second question can data mining system generate only interesting patterns sorry it's not interestingness it's interesting okay let's go i'll explain about that when we go to it okay a pattern is interesting if it is so what makes pattern interesting right so it is easily understood by the humans that is every human being have to easily understand the pattern got it valid on new or test data it should be valid on new or test data test data is nothing but the old data which we are using for testing and all and it, it should be potentially useful for the user that is it has to fulfill all the needs of the user got it so a pattern is said to be interesting if it is easily understand understood by the humans it is valued on both new and old data and it is potentially useful for the user got it next can data mining system generate all of the interesting patterns so that is what do you mean by the question i'll explain the question first can a data mining system generate all of the interesting patterns suppose a user wants Again, let us take the example of a mall only. Suppose you want a um, you want a jacket, which is you, no, you want a shirt which has an overcoat, and uh, you know the overcoat has to be in blue color. The shirt has to be in baby pink color, and there should be no design on the shirt. And for the overcoat, there has to be two pockets, and the collar of the overcoat should be a Chinese collar or a normal color and so you'll have so many specifications and if you go to the shop like i want a perfect ditto kind of shirt i want and if you go to a store of if you go to a mall you may get that or you may not uh, you may not get it right so it is not mandatory that a mall has to generate or a shop has to have all the 
you know patterns that you want in the same way it is not possible to it is not possible for a data mining system to generate all the interesting patterns that you want okay all of the interesting patterns whatever you want it is not possible for the data mining system to do that it refers to the completeness of a system so if a system is able to generate all of the interesting patterns that a user wants then the system is said to be complete but no data mining system is actually complete right like it is in reality it is not possible to generate all the interesting patterns for a data mining system okay in in reality it is not at all possible got it so can data mining system generate only interesting patterns again this is so what is the difference between the previous question and this question previous question says that all of the that is whatever interesting patterns are there of a particular user all those patterns can be generated or not by the data mining system that is previous question and what does this question mean only so in the previous question there is a chance for non interesting uninteresting items also to be generated but here in this case there is no chance for uninterested items to be generated again this refers to the optimization of a data mining system by optimization because if only interesting patterns are generated then you need not go and search right for example you are going to a mall and the previous example i've said right shirt jacket overcoat and all so if really the oh, if whatever you think in your mind those kind of things will be replicated there in a mall then do you have to search do you have to waste your time for shopping hours together days together no right that is optimization in ge generating only interesting patterns is actually a challenging if only interesting patterns are generated it becomes easy and efficient for the user time will be saved so first is what makes a pattern interesting done can data mining system generate all of the interesting patterns actually no and can data mining system generate only interesting pattern that also no okay so why i am telling the shopping mall example is you can easily remember that's all nothing apart from that okay so this is all for this actually this is a, a very you know theory kind of raw kind of uh, topic but still you have to uh, I, I, uh, you know i just want to go according to the syllabus okay so that's all for this video Let's meet up in the next coming video with another topic. By then, if you're still having any doubts, just let me know in the comment section. I'll definitely try to clear all your doubts for sure. Thanks for watching the video till the end.